Okay, so let's take a look at number three of the Python final review, part one. Um, so this one is about loops. Um, so we'll be using for, uh, in this case, not while. And so it says, using the variable i, so it tells you, ask the user to input a number between 1 and 100. Uh, calculate the sum of all numbers from 1 to i inclusive. That means including the number that was input. Uh, you must use a loop. Okay, so let's get started. So i raw input, uh, please enter number from 1 to 100. Now we could add uh, some code here, checking, make sure the number is in there, it doesn't matter for this assignment. Um, now as we recall, raw input always provides a string, we need to change that to an int, uh, int i. Okay, So we want to find out the sum. Okay, so when we start, we don't know the sum. So the sum equals zero. And then we need to make a loop. Okay, so for i in range, and the assignment says one, uh, one to i inclusive. So one. And if we did i, if you remember the loops, uh, oops, if you remember loops go up to one minus the number. So if I entered five, it would be one, two, three, four. But I want it to be one, two, three, four, five, so I need to add one. I could also do it here. Um, I plus equals one, doesn't, oops. I plus equals one, doesn't matter. Um, this I think makes it a little more clear what we're doing and why. So what we gotta do is sum plus equals I. So each time through the loop, it's gonna add I to the sum. So one, then it'll add two, which is three, and I'll add 3, which is 6, 4, uh, which makes 10, 5, which makes 15. So then we want to print the sum. Okay. So let's run it, let's see if it works. Okay, so let's do 5, because we know that's 15. Okay, boom, gave us 15. Yeah, I tested a few times. Uh, I'm kind of curious what, what's 100. Uh, again, you have to choose numbers you know. Um, so 6, because if 5 is 15, 6 would be 21. Okay, so we know it's working. And just out of curiosity, let's run it up to 100. I'm kind of. So. Oh, that's interesting. 5,050. Who knew? Uh, okay, that's that.